So, and we got an extra set of these here. Now, basically what this thing's gonna do is it's going to loop through all of the, all of the uh, images. So the first thing we're gonna do is just have a new array list. So array list, and it's gonna be obviously buffer image, and we'll call this output sheet, or yeah, output, yeah, we'll just say output. And we'll set this equal to a new um, array list, like so. So that's basically just gonna be the output image, uh, output buffered images once we're done this process. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need the things we need to pass into the crop image, which is the X and Y position, right? So in this case, we're gonna have the X column, we'll just say column, int column and int row all right and then also we need yeah int column int row so and we also need um sub width and sub height and basically what these are going to be so we have the f the fully full um width of the image and the full width of the height we have the amount of images x and the amount of images images y so to figure out how many images we have how big one image is and this not this will work for images that can they might not be square they might be rectangular the the uh column Oh, sub images x. Yeah, I'm just might gonna um drop this in here. Columns. I'll say num. We'll just say columns and rows. That makes more sense, I think. Rows. So how many columns and how many rows there are. So we don't actually need to uh, assign these. Oh, and yeah, we'll say um, current. Current. That's what we need, current column, current row. And we'll capitalize these for better. Colum current column, current row, all right? Now, the current column and current row are gonna be set to zero off the bat and the sub image sub image width is I just put sub width um, is going to be equal to the sheet width divided by no no sorry the yeah, sheet width divided by the number of rows there are, and then this this is just gonna be sheet height divided by columns. All right, and I did not put it equals there. That's why that's erroring. All right, so basically, since our image oh, and that's a typo, so we'll fix that um, height. There we are. Columns, spelling, columns, rename. Columns. Oh, just single L, I see. Okay, let's fix that up. Columns, there we are. All right, cool. So, if the image was 6128, which it is, um, we're going to divide that by how many rows there are. And then in this case, there is two rows. Yes, there's two rows, which is side to side, and columns are up and down. So basically, these are how many, and oh yeah, the other thing we're going to want is a, another integer, I forgot, and this can go at the end. It is going to be a total sub, total sub images. And that's going to be equal um, 
columns times columns times row like so and I'm actually just going to kind of split this up a little bit okay here we can drop that to the second line and I'm just going to delete delete delete, delete. there so that's just the initialization of some integers so we have how how many the current column the current row so what the current kind of cropping out is and then how many how many um the sub width which is basically how wide the image is going to be and how tall it is because it's always going to have to be the same the images will all be the same size basically so now we have a while loop and a while loop and i'm going to do a do while loop because you're always going to oops um a do while while and the while is going to be while um total images and actually i forgot one last variable and this is going to be here we'll go int i and this i is just going to be equal to zero and that's just the iterator for the loop so depending on what so it's just going to be i when when i total images or i'll shoot it i is when i is less than total Im sub images and the reason why it's less than is because it's going to start with zero right because the zero images it's going to do one first right so it's done one and it will then and then it will bump it up to one so it's done one does one does one so on second thought maybe I actually don't want to do while loop I'm just gonna do a while loop let's um, do a while loop and this is just going to be while I is less than total sum images less than equal to I should say because it should be able to be equal to I think because it starts with zero um, if it's less than because we start with zero so it's actually if we do less than or equal to and have this start as one then that should work um, so now the first thing we're going to do in here is just see if we need to do some changing of variables so if actually uh, well, the first thing we're going to do is just do a basic uh, one which is um, the crop image so we're going to do crop image oh, not continue crop image we're going to call crop image and crop image takes some variables it takes the initial buffered image all right which you need to pass here and the buffered image is going to be buffered when you pass it so the buffered image is going to be a uh, image not I but image and then the X and Y position right of this is dependent on the X position ha is basically be times by the 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 um, the sub image width and the sub image height so that the width of the thing will be basically sub image width which is sub width times times the value of the current row by current and that those are capital let's get rid of that capital real quick because we don't want that okay current current row now how this works is um if the current row is zero which is what what it starts out as the current row is zero so it goes through it would time summage by zero uh, sub image width by zero so that would be um, 64 times zero would equal zero so that would put it at zero and you want to do the same thing but for y but you want to do uh, sub height times uh, column uh, current column and then width and height are always going to be width and height which is sheet width and sh uh, not sheet width sorry uh, sub yes uh, sub width and sub height 
um, and because we figured that out already and they're always going to be the same and we can just pop that off so that is the crop image that's going to be run and then every time we run the crop image we're going to do i plus plus all right and it's going to iterate so basically every time we crop an image we're going to iterate it. so basically this is always this is going to get called um, in this case four times it should because um, it will start at zero it will start at one and it will do it once oh no this wants to be zero I'm sorry um, so we'll do it once and then it will add it to be one right it will do that so it will be three go do it three times it will become four do it a fourth time actually eh, we, we just want it wants to check afterwards because if it's done yeah sorry do while I'm I thought I, I I was correct about this where you do want to do while but then paste this here all right so the do while and that's still erring because we don't have a return statement and actually I can do this return return output it's gonna return the output at the end because it will have added it to the and actually yes this is what you need to do we need to do array list I don't know output dot add and it's gonna add this right here this whole thing there we are and that is what actually you need to do there so it's gonna do that output now this won't work right now because first of all well we haven't done some up, up here stuff but the reason why this won't work is because it's just going to keep going all along on column this case column zero or row zero and it's also going to do it on row so it's going to keep cropping out the exact same image right because it's always going to be zero and one right the only thing that's going to change is this which it will crop out four images because it will start at zero it hasn't done it it will do it once it will add it to be once check it do it check it so when it's four okay it's still good because it's equal to four it's done it four times and then I'll come back and oh we'll do a fifth time all right I am I'm like going crazy right now I actually do need to do a while loop not a do while loop so while loop basically it's gonna check so it's gonna do a fourth time this is going to equal four and oh I see so it, it ha can't be equal to what it's what is less than or equal to because yeah well it doesn't actually matter whether it's a do or a while because it can check before or after because it'll come around and it'll be like nope it's already done it four times and because it's and if it's okay so it's three good fourth it's done it four times and now it can't let it do it again so it has to be if it's equal then it knows that it's gonna do it again alright so that's good now what we have to do is we have to do two checkers a if statement to see um, if if w if uh, sorry current current row is less than current row is less than rows right because once it gets to the last row right because it's gonna uh, if it e actually yeah no if it equals that or equals <coughs> current row so it's gonna get it all the way up to 2 in this case but if it was a larger by 16 by 16 it would be a 4 it would get it up to two, so it'd start at zero. It would do its zeroth, and again, I have to remove this equals because if we're starting at zero, so it's going to go. And since I put it in rows as two, it's actually going to do zero and one and not one and two. So it's going to start at zero. It's going to do it, and then it's going to it's going to do current, uh, not continue current row plus plus so it's going to add one to current row so we'll do it once with zero it will add it to make it one which means it's going to go and move the do the second one it's going to see that it's less than two 
So it's going to add it again to make it 2. And then since it's 2, it actually needs to go back and to do 1. So we're going to do another if statement to see if current row is equal to rows, then we need to put current row back to 0, current row back to equal 0, and we also need to iterate current column current column plus plus like so so basically it's going to and I guess if the columns got to the end it would want to do a if statement then if current column is equal to columns then you would do columns Our current column, sorry, current columns equals to zero, but that would never happen to my knowledge because once it gets to the second one, it would be done. So, to my knowledge, we don't need this, but I'll leave it there anyway. This should work, it should go through the whole thing and complete it. Now, all we need to do here is just load the image. So, uh, fill map. We'll just do fill map, and that's a capital F again. Jeez. Fill map. We'll go in there. So, the other thing I'm going to do is just load a individual image. Um, we'll just do load image, uh, but we have to. Yeah. We're going to do map. So, uh, loaded images dot at dot put, and the key is going to be image id dot and this is going to be the player icon and the value is going to be load image load image dot and the path I just need to add in the path here and the path I can do backslash uh, to access or sorry I have to do a string backslash that to access to access the library root and then I can see that I want to access asset and then from there, do another backslash textures. I'm just doing control space on here too. Then I want to do player icon. It shows you it's a 64 by 64 icon. I made it that so that it's consistent. And now it's erroring. Wrong first argument type. Oh, image loader. Duh. Image ID I want. Not image loader. There we are. Now, I'm going to do this a whole lot of times in fill map. And actually, that should probably be that should probably be not in here, but actually in the fill map at the very top. Um, I'll just put comment to say fill in fill. I'll just say add images, and then in here I'm just gonna make say add add. Uh, sheet images sub add sheet sub images and this can actually go to the this can go to the top control X paste that top all right so so far we'll actually only have one regular image in here we're just gonna do loaded images dot put which is basically just putting one in. It's the same as add for array list. Image, image ID dot, and then here we'll do player play button, which is the first one. And here we're gonna, the value is going to be um, button images dot, and actually I should rename this um, main button images because it is, I may have other buttons down the road. Main. Main button images. Alright. Dot. Ah, dot. Dot. And then get. And in this case, it's one. Uh, this is the manual part of it. I wish that I had figured out a way to automate this so that you don't have to, but I couldn't figure it out. And this is actually zero. Sorry, because all maps started. All, uh, 
array list and stuff start at zero. And here we're gonna do image ID up. And then the next one is, if I'm correct, a settings button, and then it's a because it would be back to the second line, a exit, oh no, back bu back button, and then the last one would be a exit button. If I check it, check out th this, it's play settings back exit. Got it. All right, that's great. So now, if I run it, everything should still work fine, and I get a crash. Why do I get a crash? Index of index out of bounds exception zero zero index zero size zero. Oh, so I don't ever fill anything into that. Oh, it's because this isn't actually equal to anything. This is this is actually not equal to a new array list, but it's equal to aha uh, yes array list is equal to crop sheet and I crop sheet crop sheet and now I just have to do all this right the image it, the image is going to be a buffered image so I have to actually do that I need to do uh, load image and I have to do the path which in this case is in this case it is going to be assets aha no but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do assets dot sheets and then uh, backslash main button there we are and this is a really long uh, thing so I'm just going to and then now we have sheet width I'm just gonna X that out for now sheet width is going to be 128 and then the sheet height is going to be 128 and then the columns is going to be two rows are two because if we look at the image we have it's 128 by 128 two well two columns of them and two rows of them all right so that should be good and I'm just going to drop this load image section onto the next page to make it a little bit easier to see and that should run now getting another error and it's saying oh index 4 size 4 and that is erroring because that's array list Java array list image loader oh of course I'm, I'm stupid okay it's always a good idea to know how to check and this is gonna be 3 2 there we are that's what I made a mistake on and now our windows pops up and that's not erring now all we have to do is go back to our graphics handler I don't need this list import anymore graphics handler and actually on second thought no no that's good sorry I don't know what I'm thinking no I guess I, I guess I don't need this extra array list but um, I guess I could just use the output straight from but that would be a lot of yeah no that would be a lot of extra work so here I have where I'm gonna draw my images and my render. Now, for now I'm just drawing it right here, but later I'm gonna probably draw it in a specific area. But for now we're just gonna do a test here. So we're gonna do image loader loader dot load images, I think. Dot load images. No, sorry. Not image loader dot load images. Image loader dot loaded loaded images dot get and then I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the uh, the image ID dot player icon, right? So and we can get rid of if we get rid of this and actually I'm gonna leave that. So now this is gonna get copy pasted into graphics graphics or G in this case G dot draw image and here we're going to put the images there that's the image uh, the X and Y are just going to be random so I'll do 500 and I'll do 500 and then observer I'll put null because all that is is just some more advanced thing that we don't need to worry about and then I'll also do G dot draw. I'm gonna also do G dot draw image again, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but in this case, I'm gonna do G 
get rid of that. I'm gonna do ID dot play button. X and Y will just do 500 and like Y can be a thousand. Observer null. All right, so once we put these two in, now they should draw onto the screen. And we have this one here, and clearly I drew the other one off the screen. That's probably too far for the y-axis, yes. I'm actually going to put this one at 500. I'm actually going to put um, 500 on the y-axis and 1,000 on this one, because that's actually what I wanted. Uh, I thought, I, I just incorrect math here. And we get the player and we get the that thing, so that's great. We can even do another one. And I'm gonna paste, I guess I can do all th four of them, a back button. Let's run that now, let's see what we get. And that should be all of the icons we have here. Play, settings, exit, back and then player. Awesome, we have got our image loading working and that was a bit of a longer episode and hope you guys all enjoyed this um, and I hope you found this uh, useful on how to load images and stuff like that. Uh, but in the next episode we're going to be making a system of putting a lot of, a lot of data that, to, to load so it would be the X and Y position and the, um, the data type like what the image type we want and then we're going to have that stored in like lists and basically we're going to have and then we're going to make a map loader class that's going to load a not this map that we're using right now not this load images map but like a class we'll make and it's going to load out so when we have the main main menu up it will just be like it will load the main menu and we don't have to worry about it so yeah Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed this uh, episode of Java Game Tutorial, my Java Game Tutorial series, and uh, I'll see you guys all later.